Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and this weekend, my eBay sales were on fire. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. What's going on, everybody? My name is Truly. I'm a reseller in Montana. That means I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores. I find things that I think are priced low, and then I price them at market value online and sell them for profit. And uh, sales on eBay for a while have been really down for a lot of people. For me, they were really down and then up and then really down and then up. And I, I said it before, my graph looked like an EKG. Well, the last few weeks, things have started to balance out. And this weekend, really strong. And I'm really happy with it. We had a lot of sales right in that average range. I think still the average sales price on eBay hovers around 20 bucks, 20, 25 dollars. That's what the average sales price is. Well, I'm really happy when we get those sales right around that 15 to $25 mark. I think those add up really quickly and it's a good way to keep your business going. And we had a lot of those this weekend. We're going to look at that. And we're also going to look at one sale that I picked up in the morning. I listed right before dinner, actually, and then sold it before we got the check. Very nice sale. And it's one you're going to want to look out for. That's coming up. We'll start with the stuff that I'm sending out on Friday. Got it all piled out here. See if I can remember all of these. Ghostbusters on Blu-ray. Very popular title, but there are a ton of these out there, so not a very valuable title. Still, I sent out an offer. It was $4.99. I sent one out for $4.49 plus shipping, and they took it. That's part of the big bulk buy of media that we made at that estate sale recently. So everything there is profit. So we did sell to Michael, I think a viewer of the channel. Michael didn't leave a message, but bought a bunch of different things. And so Michael, I do, and, and your name's familiar and uh, I see a lot of names. So apologies that I don't recall off the top of my head for sure. But Michael, I do believe that you are a viewer of the channel and picked up a selection of stuff. Thank you so much. Picked up Jar Jar Binks from the Attack of the Clones. Jar Jar, a very polarizing figure on Star Wars. Musical Jar Jar Binks. But actually some of the Jar Jar stuff is pretty valuable. So he, he picked up this. He picked up the old Smurfs plush. This is a Peyo, P-E-Y-O is the brand. That's the old brand that made these. Cool old plush for the Smurfs. Big guy. He's actually pretty heavy. Ooh, he's sleepy. Picked up a Damn It doll. These things sell very well if you can find them, especially with, with tags on them. These things are, it, it's a stress. You know, you smack it on your desk or throw it across the room, whatever. Uh, these, they don't sell for a lot, but they actually sell quite well. And this was a cool one with like the wave pattern on there. So Michael got himself a Damn It doll. He also got an enamel pin of uh, the Penguin from Batman, of course. And then Woody. From Toy Story, a nine-inch figure here. Very, very poseable, cool figure. So all of that together, fifty-seven oh eight plus shipping. So, Michael, thanks so much. I'll get those all boxed up and get them sent out to you. We also have this guy. This is a Steve McQueen collection. I sent out an offer on this one as well. Not a super valuable DVD, but it sells pretty well. Again, I took 25 cents off, and that was enough to trigger a sale. $4.74 plus shipping on that one. This is a cool piece. I have a whole bunch of these, or I did have a whole bunch of these at one point. I'm actually running pretty low. Uh, I've got some dogs left and some butterflies left. These are old tobacco silk cards. These date back to 1910. This one from Old Mill Cigarettes, English Setter. This one sold for $14.73 plus shipping. So cool piece there. Sold some blank media. These aren't real high dollar, but you can get these for sometimes free at garage sales, if not very cheap. Sometimes I think I paid a quarter a piece for these. So why not? They do sell if you lot them together or if you buy VCRs or the DVD combo units, you can pair a new tape with those as well to help them sell. But I decided to list these things by themselves, and they did sell for $7.99 plus shipping, though on these, you cannot ship those media mail because there's no actual media on there. So I know a lot of people do. You're not supposed to. So no media mail on those blank tapes. How about this guy, WCW Wrestling Bruisers? This is Kidman with backflip action and folding table. 
a little bit damage to the uh, packaging itself, but the figure in there is A-OK. -okay. And this one sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Over here, we got this in a neighborhood sale for, uh, I think I paid up for this. I think I paid $2 for it. And, uh, you know, I really wouldn't pay that much, but it has a good sell-through rate, even though it doesn't sell for that much. $7.99 plus shipping so we made a couple of bucks bought that along with a whole bunch of others some of them better certainly so a few bucks there we sold this to a viewer of the channel miss jane she's such a great supporter of the channel so jane's got a squish mallow coming and she also sent me an offer on this little guy she paid for the uh for the squish mallow she paid 14.73 plus shipping and then this is just a little uh, maisto dc car Let's see underneath here if I can get it to focus. It's upside down, but it's the Scion, I guess. And uh, she sent me an offer on this, but it was not low enough. So I countered it four bucks and she took that. So that's going to go in with the Squish Mallow. Jane, thank you so much. I sure appreciate all of your continued support for the channel. This off of an estate sale pickup that I got uh, just this, this last week, actually yesterday, I, I picked these up and a couple of these have already sold. This, the J. Stevens Arms and Tool Company. This is a, uh, it's very early. It dates to like the 1920s. And it's just like a magazine. It looks at, see, it's from Massachusetts. It looks at different ammunition and sights and rifle pieces and parts and components. So very cool if you're into guns and gun collecting. Just looking at the old stuff, you know, an old catalog. This a really neat piece. And so this thing, I paid a couple bucks for it. And it sold overnight for $19.76 plus shipping, even with the guy's name written on there. And then Improvised Weapons of the American Underground. This a really interesting look at just different weapons that, that people have, have made. And this one sold this morning $16.74 plus shipping. And then one more that I actually forgot to set out that I do have to ship out today. Uh -huh. More did you speak? It's Skinnered, an old cassette tape. I got this from my uh, from my parents. My dad found a whole bunch of old cassette tapes, and I sifted through them and grabbed the ones that uh, that sold that were either, not necessarily high dollar, but that sold well. You know, obviously free inventory. You're going to list lower dollar stuff, and uh, you know this sold for a dollar ninety nine plus shipping. So not a whole lot, but it was free inventory and like movies. Very, very easy to list and store and ship. So something that's that simple that takes minutes, I don't mind making just a couple bucks on it. So Skinner, heading out. And now it is about lunchtime on Sunday and more going out. Really happy with this weekend. This, you know, we're, we're not even going to wait, guys. This was in the thumbnail. You saw it. You're going to see me pick this up and talk about it actually in tomorrow's video. So back-to-back -back days, you get to learn about this one. But this is Marlboro, the Marlboro Country Store. Keep an eye out for this. Tune in tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit more about this. But this sold inside of about two and a half hours. It sold very, very quickly. I paid $2 for it, and it sold, like I said, under three hours. I took an offer of $80 plus shipping for this old Zippo Marlboro lighter. Both of those collectible so keep an eye out for both 80 bucks off of a two dollar pickup and this was like three hours into a garage sale that this was still sitting there this was also at that same garage sale and actually just sold as i was bringing this stuff over this is dewalt new in package you don't know much about tools it, no big deal you scan the barcode guys scan barcodes at garage sales don't be obvious and conspicuous and obnoxious about it but it's easy enough if you see something interesting to quick scan a barcode with the ebay app and this thing i picked up also for two dollars and it sold inside of about a day day and a half of listing for 23 dollars and change and this relatively heavy but i'm going to put it in a padded flat rate envelope so shipping isn't all that bad at all and a nice quick turnaround i like selling hats this an older hat, Shrade, that a name to look out for as well. Knives and tools, mostly knives you're going to see. <laughs> Shrade is a pretty good brand of knife. So this just a cool 
snap back hat and it's been sitting around for a while i picked it up at a garage sale i don't remember what i paid for this thing i, I wasn't more than a dollar uh usually i pay 25 50 cents often for uh for these hats but this one sold for 13 dollars 98 cents plus shipping we've got a lot of media a lot of games this weekend i've been listing a lot of those uh, the temptations sold three dollars 49 cents plus shipping relatively low dollar sale but super easy to list and store and ship then uh, homeland this is the fifth season uh, like the temptations paid a dollar for this and homeland there's some seasons that sell for more uh, some that don't sell for much at all this one kind of in the middle I guess the fifth season sold for $9.98 plus shipping. And then this one is a good title. Keep an eye out for The Man Who Fell to Earth, Rip Torn, and David Bowie. Are you Lithuanian? I come from England. Oh, that's not so terrible. This is a relatively rare title. When you see movies that have some of this stuff on the back, you know, it's film festival stuff. It's sometimes a rare piece, and the box isn't like a big... You, you can just tell. It doesn't look like a big release. And so these are relatively rare. And this is a nice sale. This one sold for $23.44 plus shipping for a used DVD. Now, this guy fell over back here, but we'll show you him. This is just a plastic grill emblem for an Isuzu. I picked it up by $2, I think. This was the last day of an estate sale a couple weeks ago. And so paid two bucks for it and sold relatively quickly. $19.76 plus shipping. We've got this guy sitting up back here. We did sell this guy as well. Ray Mysterio Jr. Packaging is super messed up, but this is a collectible figure just by himself loose. You can see it's an older figure as well from 1999 and so i accepted an offer on ray mysterio of 35 dollars plus shipping so good sale there that part of a bulk buy along with a lot of these games and this one shadow man for the sega dreamcast this a cool title this sold inside of eh, about a week of listing 26.79 plus shipping on that primal not super high dollar, but it sold in a matter of days. This, for the PlayStation 2, the black label is this copy of Primal, and it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. We've got, again, black label PS2 Test Drive, Eve of Destruction. This, a pretty good title, $29.81 plus shipping for used game keep an eye out for that one and that one sold within about a day of listing so did this one playstation 2 srs street racing syndicate this one sold for 14 dollars 73 cents plus shipping one more game related piece i suppose this is an international sale this for the old nes the game genie this one going over to israel it sold for $23.44 plus that international shipping. Sold a couple of CDs. Both these came out of the storage unit. Most of those CDs weren't any good, but these were pretty solid. And this one, of course, Jay-Z sold for $9.98 plus shipping. And then Eminem also sold $6.49 plus shipping for that. Sold a couple of books. Robert Rourke's Africa. I accepted an offer on this one. It's, uh, I don't know, about three weeks old or so. So pretty quickly, $29 plus shipping on that. And then another buyer came in and got Horned Death. This one I've actually been hanging on to for a while. And this one I also accepted an offer on. It ended up going for $25 plus shipping. Sold a shirt as well this pretty cool a vintage single stitch shirt wolf got the cool eyes there and uh comes out of bc canada on the habitat 1990 graphic and this one i was going back and forth on offers and it turns out it's going to canada this one 36 canadian dollars 
it's going to be about $31 and change once I do the conversion. So cool t-shirt sale. We've got one more, guys. I forgot to put it on the table over here because, well, it was sitting on the head of the prospector over there. This is an old Kent football helmet. This is a youth football helmet. And there are all sorts of different patterns that you would see out there. But these old helmets sell pretty well. I mean, they're obviously not going to be used. I had to clean this thing up. It was pretty dirty. You can see the inside. That's kind of what it looked like on the outside. So uh, I, I, I took some time, cleaned this up. You're actually going to see this in a little while. It's going to take some time before I get to it. But uh, that private pick I was talking about, that's where I pulled this out of. And uh, we got some incredible toys. It's just going to take me a while to go through what I got and to go through the footage. It, it's just going to take a while. But you're going to start seeing those in the what solds, I hope, because I'm slowly starting to get that listed. This thing sold in a day, inside of a day, because I listed it last night. It's already going out the door for $23.25 plus shipping. So very nice sales. I'm happy with it and happy with where eBay seems to have rebounded for me. Of course, I'm listing a lot. I'm putting up, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 items at least every day now. So that certainly helped the influx of listings, I think, is helping with the activity in the store. And certainly there are more cool things in the store for people to buy. So I think that is probably the leading factor to why things are doing well for me right now. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Again, a garage sale video coming up tomorrow. So you don't want to miss that. And tomorrow we're going to do a, a quick whatnot auction. I think I've got uh, 10 or 12 figures. It's uh, Predator. Really cool figures. So that coming up uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're going to do that at uh, 3.30 p.m. Eastern on whatnot. If you want to follow me on there, the information down in the description. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. Hit that thumb on your way out. If you don't mind, comment down below. That helps us a ton as well. And we'll see you next time.